Hey everyone, it's Chris Huntley with the Rise to the Top, and in this video I'd like to review the Rebuilding Body Course sales page by Jess Mather. Uh, if you have an online course, or you're in the process of building one, or you've got a, a sales page for a course, uh, what I'd like to do is offer some, uh, some advice and some tips on improving this page for, uh, for Jess's course that I think that anybody can use for their own. So the first thing that I'd like to say here about the the sales page is, um, you know, kind of one of the principles that that I have is when I when I visit a sales page, it has to pass the caveman test. Like, can a caveman come to this page and within five seconds know what is this? How is it going to make my life better? And how do I buy it? Okay, so um, I. I think what this course is, is it helps people with chronic medical conditions after taking a look at this. And what I'd like to see here instead is probably, um, instead of this rebuilding body, which is the name of the course, maybe, maybe make that a logo and put that at the top a little bit smaller. I think this is really valuable real estate. So, and by the way, it's also kind of see-through. It needs to be, you know, bold and in white so that people can can see it. And I think chronic pain or chronic conditions has to be uh, in the headline. So, so that would answer the question like, who is this going to help, or or what what problem is this solving? It's solving the problem of chronic pain. Um, okay, so what is it? you don't really say that. You say it's a proven step-by-step -step blueprint. Well, that could be an online course, that could be a book, that could be a video series, um, that could be a PDF or ebook. So I think you need to say that it's an online course right here. So what is it? It's, a, it's an online course that does these things. And, and the last one was, how do I buy it? Instead here, our, our call to action here is learn more. Now that's not, that's not terrible. Um, I, I think what you're doing is it's it's a little bit of a, a soft sale and you're just assuming that they're going to want more information. The thing here is just if, if you have a website, if you have social media, you're going to have a certain percent of people that they already follow you, they trust you, and is and if you've done everything right at the top of this page where they can they can see what this is, how it's going to help them, and and how to buy it then they might just click that buy now button right here and and they'll forego the rest of the sales page okay so i think you should do that maybe put learn more as a secondary button or even just in text underneath there um, okay so from here on i want to i want to kind of go section by section and and i'm not going to go over all of the copy in here but i'm just going to give some you know, some bits of tips and advice in each section. The last thing that I want to say about about the top here is um, I recognize this is a picture of Jess. Okay, so I recognize her from um, her profile on Facebook. Okay, so that that's fine. I think in a lot of situations it's great for, you know, it, Jess, if you have a course on um, on overall health, dieting, fitness, you know, um, um, staying in shape, things like that. And, and if you're catering to a younger demographic, then I think go ahead and put yourself, I think a lot of fitness influencers will, will feature themselves in their images. And I think that can be a good thing in some situations. In this case, after looking through the page, I think that your target audience is is probably older and and they're not dealing with the same struggles as you they're so they may be older and they've got these chronic pain issues i think what would be better would be to feature older individuals and showing them you know what what would success look like what am i what am i getting out of this so i can't really tell by seeing a picture of, of jess here holding these weights um there's a there's a chiropractic website that I really like here that does a good job of this. This is Foothills Chiropractic and um, they're in the Scottsdale area of Arizona where it's an older demographic. And and so you can see with their imagery on, on their landing page here, this isn't a, a course page, it's just for their, it's just the website for their chiropractic clinic. 
but this is the type of imagery I'm talking about in the background. So you see people that are riding their bikes, they're out golfing, they're looks like they're hiking here, they're dancing, they're uh, you know they're they're out enjoying life again, right? So I think that sort of imagery might do a little bit better for for this. Okay, so let's go uh, section by section. Uh, I'll just say the other thing here is is yeah with using this real estate wisely and and stating what it is um, you you might put this up at the top in smaller print and then use this space this is also a very valuable space maybe put a face right away of an actual uh, you know testimony of an actual client who's gotten results with a, with a testimonial here. Okay. So I think, I think that's going to be really important is, you know, something short and sweet. Um, you know, thanks so much, Jess. I, I could barely even bend over. Now I'm chasing my grandkids around the house again, something like that. Okay. Um, quick tip on, on testimonials is, is, Sometimes it's a little bit. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to get them, so you may you may want to to write a suggested testimonial for your clients based on things that they've already told you. Um, also, that way they don't have to write it. So you can make make it something short and sweet, and then send it to them and say, "Is this okay? Can I post this?" And you know, get their permission, of course, or maybe some, in some cases they'll edit it. But you'll you, you know you're gonna tend to be a better copywriter than, than them. Okay, so um, here's a statement we have. I was looking through this a little bit. Um, this is kind of a statement here about how, what the body wants to do. The body wants to protect you. It, it wants to get back to, uh, uh, to an environment of, of safety and and then you get into kind of what I would call this is the plan. How do we do it? Well, we repat repattern your body and we move at the right pace and we use the sequential key movement patterns. Okay, so this is just, it's a lot of text for me personally. Um, what, this could, I mean, th these look like possibly like two different sections to me. This could be something more like the, the plan, which is, Something that, first of all, you could you could break it down into steps, like the one, like there's probably a hundred steps that you're that they're gonna take to to have to get better. And I'm just thinking, if I'm you know an older individual and I've been dealing with chronic pain for years, and I've tried chiropractic, massage, and acupuncture, and physical therapy, and medications, and all this stuff, I'm probably I'm probably thinking. You know, gosh, if I'm going to try a program like this where she's going to get me, you know, moving around, um, it's going to take a long time. How's this going to work? A simple one, two, three step plan could go a long way. And maybe, maybe name it something kind of brandable, um, like the easy flow, something that shows that it's easy and that they're going to get back into it slowly but surely. You know the easy flow wellness plan, or the gentle stride, or the soft step. You could use you know AI tools as well to help you come up with ideas for that. Um, back to this one, they have they have a section here that I, I quite like about you know they kind of drive the pain a little. They they drive that knife a little bit deeper into you. Uh, that you know what's this costing? It's not just costing you pain. It's also costing you sleep and playing with your with your kids and basic movements like sitting down to work or drive. So um, that just kind of raises the stakes, but here's their plan. And again, you've got a nice success image and you've got, you've got a one, two, three step plan. So you can break it down something like that. Uh, here's another one that I like from this construction company. Uh, they call it the perfect remodel plan. And and so, you know, gosh, how many steps go into a remodel? Well, a million steps go into a remodel, but it starts with the dream design. It starts, uh, second step is, is getting a, a quote the, that you can trust and then on time completion. So they're kind of addressing pro, uh, in the true quote, uh, 
it seems like there's some bad quotes out there. So they call it the true quote or quotes that you can't trust, right? So this is the true quote and completion on time. So they're probably addressing a couple of pains in here. Um, and then, you know, you've got like success imagery here and here. So here's their design. Here's their, com what the completed thing looks like. This is a, this does a lot for you. You know, it shows, it takes a complicated process and it breaks it down into, into fewer steps. And I think something like that could, could work well for, uh, for this section here. So, so brand it, make a, uh, you, know, you don't have to do the three steps, but, but if you do, it, it just helps to, uh, to take something complex and make it look more doable and easy. You can imagine, um, this is a, this is a story brand concept. If you're not familiar with it, story brand is, um, I have a certification through them and, um, it's a framework that, that helps take your, your customer like through their hero's journey, right? And, and one of those things is you as the guide or the company as the guide has to give them a, a plan. And um, it has to be something that, that, that is simple to follow and that they can trust or the, they, might not, they might not trust it and they, they might not believe that they can do it. So it's like Mr. Miyagi giving the plan to, to Daniel's son, wax on, wax off, there's your plan. Here's how you're going to learn karate. Um, it's like uh, it's like a guide who who is is taking his um, his hikers, you know, through the wilderness, uh, his adventurers through the wilderness, and they come upon a river that's infested with with raging waters and alligators and rocks everywhere. And he says, "It's okay, just step here, here, and here. One, two, three. And it makes a complicated endeavor seem easier and, and doable. Okay, so um, I like this section here. The before we jump in, this course isn't for everyone, so we're gonna we're gonna clear that up. That's fantastic. It's your time to move freely again. This is a this is a like a statement of success and and kind of just your your belief here. Um, it's kind of like a, a, a call to action. You can do this, right? So I, I like that. I might dress up the image here a little bit. This doesn't do much for me. It's a little bit dull and gray for me. Okay, your course goodies. To me, when I just look at this real quickly, um, I you might want to consider changing the wording of, of goodies. Uh, when I think of goodies, I think of bonuses, right? So if you have, let's say, a, a key component or the featured component to the course, if it's a six week movement practice, you might, you might feature this, give it, you know, I think a, an image of what it looks like inside the course could be very helpful here. And then, and then list all these other, you know, add-ons below. But this is, this is, to me, it's, um, it's laid out in a way that's, the, it's a little bit chaotic, right? It's, it's a lot here. There's no icons to help me kind of guide my eyes to what I'm looking at. So, so maybe feature, feature this one with an image and then maybe put all these others, um, you know, below. And I would add some icons too, so you can quickly just kind of distinguish between the different sections so they don't all look the same. Created from over 12 years of love. So I really like this statement and I haven't read this, but uh, and I'm not going to here, but I would say that this looks to me like, um, you know, like a care message, like a personalized letter and like statement of, of love um, and, and care from, from the creator here. So I think, I think this would be a great place to set up bringing in, bringing in Jess here. And maybe this is the first time that we see you on the page, Jess. Um, you set it up with a letter and then you introduce your qualifications. You might, um, I don't, I don't know what any of these things are, CPT, LPTA. So that, that might, may or may not say something. Okay. Oh, cert PT, probably certified physical therapist. I don't know. Okay. But, but you might have right underneath here, you might have a, a doctor or or a, as seen in something else that that since these are a little bit of confusing titles, like they they definitely look like professional certifications, right? And I think people will understand that. But um, 
but also something, something maybe just some some logos or a quick testimonial from a doctor. Someone's, you know, um, if you've had a doctor, for example, uh, as a client, they could say, look, I'm a doctor and I, I took this and, and she really knows what she's doing. I think would go a long way here to, you know, you just want to add additional credibility. Um, and you're going to do that. I can see here with testimonials. Okay. So first thing I would say is again, I think, okay, this is a really long, long, long testimonial. You might cut that down in half, get, uh, get Skylar's permission, you know, to do that. But, um, but I'd also say, I'm in my 40s and I'm having a hard time reading this. Not, not really, I'm not, I can read it, but I could see someone in the 50s, 60s, 70s having a hard time reading this. You may wanna increase the size here. It's also all quite a bit jumbled up. So you might, um, you might do something more like a, a carousel and, and just feature kind of one video or one image and one testimonial at a time. Um, these, this is kind of interesting, this format where I can see Jess is in all these testimonials. So let's watch one of these. Cool. All right, so I have Judith here with me and okay. we're gonna go over- So Jess is starting to talk. Overview, Judith, of what you've been going through, what as I'm just scrolling over here, it looks like Jess is still so, talking. Judith first, first came to me. Um, Judith, you were working with a coach at the time. You're still working with another coach. Um, is this an option? Uh, getting active again? You were doing your training. Yeah. Like it so this is a little bit of an issue for me because it looks like she, um, Judith doesn't start talking until about two minutes into the video. So what I would do is I would... Um, what, what's probably happening here is you're saying, look, when you came to me, we were dealing with X, Y, and Z, and that's all set up. I don't think anybody is going to want to see that, though. Um, so I, I think that that you just edit yourself out, just show her, and just show when she starts talking, and just find the parts that, you know, where it's like, this is what I was dealing with before, and now here's the result. And... And so you could probably out of this 10 minute video, just use a 30 second segment. And that would be better because no one's gonna watch all this or very few people would, I would think. Okay, so I would do that for those. Um, I actually, I watched a little bit of this one and already before the video. And, and that was kind of the same setup where it was just introducing Jackie for a couple minutes. Um, so if that's how all these are, I would just cut that out. And, uh, and edit out or, or even just get, you know, get a new one and because these look a little bit dated, but you don't have to, you know, they, they don't have to be super professional. I think this is fine. Okay. Um, it's, a, it's, it's a lot of text to read. And, and I think when you're going to make a big purchasing decision that it's good to have more and more and more of these, but you might just consider the layout that I, that I mentioned, like a carousel type of layout. So, so there's still lots of text, but but they're just laid out a little bit more cleanly. Okay, this is like bullet points. You're ready for this if, do, 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 do. You might consider bullet points or check marks or something like that because because this uh, this gets a little bit hard for me to read on my eyes. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe some check, check marks, bullet points. Again, the, the background image here is a little bit um, dull for me and not very interesting, so, so maybe liven that up. Use, you know, again, success imagery if you can. Okay. Again, I, I'd increase the font size here. You've got lots of questions if this is right for me. Okay, great. Um, this you might consider, you know, the, the drop down type, type feature, the accordion feature where they can they can see the questions and then they can click on it to see the answer. Or maybe you just show like a partial amount of the answer and then they can click down to, to see more because this is quite a large section. Um, one of the things I'm seeing here is like, by the way, I'm, I'm getting to the end of the page and I still haven't really seen a, here's how you can buy the course or how much it costs or anything. So 
So you should probably add a couple of you know CTA buttons um, you know to buy now. Like like this this is odd placement for me. If you still have questions, send us a message. Um, they don't even know how much it costs yet. So I would put this at the very bottom after the offer. Okay, so here we have our offers. Um, I like how you've laid out everything that they're going to get in here. I think, you know, something like this is, is really what, uh, what I kind of wanted to see in that section above, make it really clear and easy to see what's, what's included in it. Okay. Um, looks like both options are the same, just different payment plans. I think that's nice that you get the different payment plans. Okay. So yeah, those are some, those are just some tips. I want to remind everyone that we have um, create awesome online courses. You can go to createawesomeonlinecourses.com and you can get um, a course where we teach step by step how to build these pages and everything to include um, based on, you know, uh, just dozens of these and just millions of dollars in online online course revenue that have been done, lots of testing and, and lots of student examples. So I think, uh, Jess, you're doing a fantastic job. You're doing a lot right on here. You're clearly offering, um, you know, an important service and helping a lot of people out. And I think that's fantastic. You can tell by the testimonials. I think, um, you know, I'd like to see you help a lot more people out. And I think the way that you can do that is by implementing some of these changes in this video. And I wish you the best of luck if you're watching this and, um, and you've gotten value out of this, then uh, yeah, head over to createawesomeonlinecourses.com and uh, you'll see what we have to offer there. And you could be building pages like this as well and, uh, and making profit off of your expertise and your skills. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you soon.